Hi, welcome to Insights. I'm Denise. Wonderful Wednesday to you. You know, we're just about to celebrate our Independence Day on the 30th of November. So I want to stop because I love my land. I love Barbados. We are a blessed land. God has been good to us. So I want to stop and say a prayer for our nation, for our people, and thank him for the, the, our independence. You know, the Lord has been the people's guide for past 300 years. He has been our guide. So I want to pray for our land. So Father, I give you thanks and I give you praise for Barbados, a land which you've blessed, a place which may be small, but Father, I thank you that you are a big God and you have good plans for us. So I bless the land with prosperity, with abundance. I declare that our economy shall be buoyant. I speak forth continued good leadership. I declare peace and prosperity and provision over this land in Jesus' wonderful name. Happy Independence, Barbados. We love you. Now today, we're going to talk about night blindness. There's so much that's been happening around us and we think that we are seeing. I really don't know if I'm seeing too clearly. And so we look through the glass and it's dim. We can't really tell what's happening around us. Are we truly seeing there is like a veneer, there is something over the earth it seems like and true vision seem to be lacking because even on a personal level there are people and circumstances around and we cannot see there may be someone that God has placed in your life as a blessing and you cannot see you're blinded because the enemy blinded word of God said the God of this word has blinded your eyes and so we are looking but we're not seeing we're not perceiving there's somebody God has placed in your path and you're treating them like dirt you're treating them as if they don't don't belong but you don't realize that they are your wrath they're the person that God sent to save you from the difficulty from the storm on the other hand you cannot see where he has brought you and where he's leading you because you have been blinded by your own pride or something there's so much happening in the world too and the lies and the deception are pervasive and we do not know we are looking but we are not seeing and we have what I term night blindness blindness because you are blinded you seem I am seeing how oh, you mean I don't understand and we argue but I have now my personal experience I was so blinded I could not see my eyes were open and people say you have beautiful eyes yes you have beautiful eyes but eyes that couldn't see eyes that were dark and dim because the God of this world blinded my eyes and I did not see that God has a good had a good plan and still has a good plan for my life I grew up feeling like the the bull in the china shop feeling like dirt feeling like nothing and allowing people to treat me like nothing because i couldn't see but today i declare that god has placed us and you and me in a position where now we can see i declare that our eyes are open up to the vision and for the things he has for us he said in jeremiah 29 11 i have good plans for you plans of peace and of hope do not allow the enemy to lie to you do not be blinded by the things of this world the little trinkets that he brings to you and say dangle them in your face and say do this and I can give you this whole world he said that to Jesus he said get thee behind me Satan for it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceed from the mouth of God I declare today that you see today that your vision is cleared up and you see clearly that God loves you and that there is a hope and a way of escape take the high road continue to operate at a higher vibration know that God wants you to see the word of God said taste and see that the Lord is good. God bless you today. Shalom.